All right, Joel, you see those rusty cars out there? About 400 on the left side of the road? Yeah. Okay, go to the 10 o'clock. You got an E-type at 500 meters. Okay. Go ahead, let me know when your crosshairs are center mass of the target. On it. Okay, we got about a 12 degree angle. Why don't you come down three quarters from your 500 dope? All the gun. Okay, give me a very light right favor. Very light right favor. Very light right favor. Tango down. Nice job, fellas. Let's make sure that rifle's safe. What you just saw were two of our shooters identifying and successfully engaging a target downrange by first determining its distance and then determining the angle to the target, applying that corrected data to the rifle and then firing, which leads us to the topic of our pro tip today, which is how to determine the angle to your target and then include that to change your data necessary to hit your target on the first shot. In this situation, Sergeant Mangione has an angle of 30 degrees to the target. This will cause a change in the ballistic trajectory to his target. Gravity is a constant pulling force that causes the bullet to fall to the ground the moment it leaves the rifle barrel. This pulling force is the same regardless of whether the bullet is fired uphill or downhill. To properly identify this effect, we need to first understand two terms. First, straight line distance. This is the distance between yourself and the target as range estimated or determined by a laser rangefinder. The second term is flat ground distance. This is the actual distance that the bullet will feel gravity's effect as it pulls it to the ground. This distance will get less and less as the angle to the target increases. To properly determine the flat ground distance from yourself to the target, first you need to take the cosine of the angle between yourself and the target. Then you multiply that cosine by your straight line distance from yourself to the target. That might seem a little confusing, so let's simplify it by using the example of Sergeant Mangione's rifle. He had an angle of 30 degrees to the target. The cosine of 30 degrees is 0.87. Our range to the target straight line was 400 yards as obtained by a laser rangefinder. 0.87 times 400 equals 348, or a flat ground distance of 348 yards of the target. That's a difference of 52 yards from our straight line distance. The effects of angle shooting on your trajectory are increased with both the angle and the distance of the target. So unless the angle is extremely severe, you're really not gonna notice these effects at ranges of 200 yards or less. So how does this apply to the shooter that is going on an elk hunt in the mountains of New Mexico, where well, you're going to need to do a little bit of homework. What I would do is I would formulate a cosine chart of some of the angles you're likely to encounter on your hunt. Secondly, you need to have an accurate ballistic chart of your rifle and your ammunition out to the distances which you're likely to engage your targets. Then, once you're in your likely hunting spot, go ahead and use your angle finding device and estimate the angle to some of the likely points that you might see your quarry. Then you'll be best prepared to take all the information that we've given you, apply it, and bring home a successful trophy.